I've got three vehicles back here, a Renegade, a Wrangler, and a Cherokee, and they're all painted a little bit different colors. They're, the color palette for the 75th anniversary is a military-inspired color from our very first flat fender Jeep. Uh, and they all have these uh, bronze details to them, the, the wheels, the, the bumper, some of the trim, uh, and then some very special badging that goes along with it. Picking the color palette itself uh, was important to we didn't want to have the same color on everything, but we, we came up with a range of military-inspired colors. Uh, and then for uh, Cherokee, it's a really dark uh, hue. It's called Recon. Very, very dark green, but, but uh, classy, right? For the uh, Wrangler, it's more of a, a military-looking green, kind of a, uh, an olive drab, but, but not drab. And then on the uh, Renegade, it's a much fun, more fun, funky green on it. Wrangler, such a special model for us. Really, um, what we're doing, uh, 75 years uh, of what the Wrangler came from, uh, the model has, has changed throughout the years. Uh, there's been several different versions, but essentially they look the same. Uh, round headlights, for a while we did square, but the, the slotted grille, the profile of the vehicle, very square topped, uh, flat front end. Um, it's the core of our brand, the Wrangler is. We derive a little bit of uh, every every Jeep that we make has a little bit of Wrangler in it, uh, in the styling especially. And we're proud that it's never gone out of, out of production. There's always been a version in production and they've always looked very, very similar. The customer honestly has changed throughout the years. Uh, the vehicle has, has been pretty true to its roots. Um, but, I, but I think it's, it's really special to be part of a, a brand that has that kind of a route that, that we've never wavered. It's, a, it's always been the same thing all the way through. That's pretty cool.